Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Hogwarts Legacy. Last episode, we finally unlocked rank 3, Alohomora. And we got that by collecting 13 demiguise moons. We also set up our room of requirement, and it looks like our plants have fully grown. So let's check these out. Venomous Tentacula. Look at the size of these guys. They look great. All right, well, let's start collecting. Let's see if we got a good setup here. There's our mandrakes. Chinese chomping cabbages. Look at this. This is just great. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff. And we're going to be able to complete some quests today. Let's see if we can make any potions from this. Got so many Disney leaves. Need some some pork lump juice. We got some stench of the dead last episode, so we'll be able to make some thunder brew soon. All right, guys. So I think we're gonna head over to Hogsmeade. We're gonna turn in a quest because we uh, finished a delivery, I believe. And she didn't like him too much. She didn't like Pippin. I don't know why. I think she's jealous of him. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? All right, here we go, Pippin. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very Fatima good. Luang. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? She's certainly difficult. Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. Cantankerous? I truly really appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. I'd like an additional fee. <laughs> yeah, say that. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Kingbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? If it is, she doesn't deserve it back. I didn't realize. Oh, I had no idea. I didn't even have an, any Something's idea. Something's a secret amongst potioners. I shall return it to her immediately. Wow. I wonder if he increased our pay. And we got the potioners cap. Not bad. What can I do for you today? Should we buy hork lump juice? It's only 50 each one. I think we'll wait. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. It's a good thing we said that to him. I wonder if it, it actually increased our pay at all, or maybe not. Who knows? But there's one thing I do want to buy, and it's some seeds. Oh, it's you! What a pleasant surprise. Yeah, we're going to get some uh, shrivel fig seeds. Now, we actually... you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. We need those for our Thunder no Brew potions. Don't keep a stack shelf. Yeah, I think we're good now. Until uh, we find some more potions we want to make. Alright, so I guess we'll run around Hogsmeade for a bit, and we'll try to find some Tier 3... Revelio. Locks. Maybe this might be our first one right here. Yeah, here we go. Hello, Hamora. A little bit tighter, these tier threes. Oh, upgraded gloves. Rebellion. Not bad.
Your gear slots are full. You gotta be kidding me. Really? We did a, a Merlin trial. So I thought that, uh... Just J. Pippin. We'll go back to J. Pippins and sell some stuff. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have I thought our, our inventory went up by a decent amount. Oh my gosh, we forgot to identify. Can't believe we forgot about that. All right, well, we got a lot of stuff here. We're going to identify all of this. And then we'll come back. Forgot that we had all those legendaries. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Let's put on these gloves. And there's enchants for gear. Eventually we'll probably get into that. But yeah, we'll head back to uh, the room requirement. Now we can put these uh, these seeds up. Hopefully we have enough, uh, enough to make one more medium table. Hope we do. Oh, all we can hear is rain in here. So let's uh, we'll get this medium table going quick. Okay. Oh, we only have enough. Damn it. That's too bad. We could get rid of one of these potion stations. Wow, look at all those upgrades, guys. That's insane. Let's see what level these are. Level 17. Which one's the best? I think that one's the best. We get to sell all of these. That mask looks pretty cool, too. So does that one. Yeah, that's our best one. Did we get anything else? Yeah, that's locked. Gotta be 18 for that. And then this guy, yeah. That was pretty good. Alright, so I'm gonna get rid of one. We need the... We need the... We get rid of this guy. 20 stones. Hopefully that's enough. I wonder how much they cost to make. Another 20. Yeah, I think we have enough now. Good. Good dig. Dig things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Oh, sure am. You are proud. I think Deeg's proud of us. Should we put it here? Or... None of that would work. As long as we can reach that one. It's going to be in the way of the, the stairs, but I don't know. I think Deeg's in the way. Doesn't fit in the corner here. Maybe I could put it like here. Deep thinks you are doing good work here. <laughs> oh, thanks, Deke. 
Thanks for doing a good job. All right, so let's see what we got here. Shrivel fig. We'll, we'll make a couple of these. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know if we'll need this much, but we'll see. Eventually, we could probably change it all. All right, there we go. We got a lot of plants going on here. I think that'll be pretty good. All right. Okay, so I guess we'll uh, we'll head back now, and we'll sell the items that we don't need. That should net us a decent amount of coin. And we have a quest there that we need to do. So we might check that out after we after we pick some locks. There's also a chest that we tr tried to open, but Hogsmeade, here I come. Our items were uh, too much uh, inventory. We get a lot of coin for all these Hello legendaries. There. In the market for potions, are we? That's an upgrade. Can't wear it yet. There we go, 3k I gold. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Thinking about buying the Horklump juice, like... Pain what to, can I do for you today? Kind of a pain to it. To, but to get. A wise decision. Thank you. Hopefully it is a wise decision. I have a I feeling we'll probably find again. a bunch, but Farewell whatever. For now. I want to be able to make some Wigan World potions. Revelio. Now, I remember we went up here, maybe, right? So around here, we found a, a tier three lock. There's one over here. I guess we'll just have to Hello find that that home eventually again. Too bad we weren't we didn't loot that one chest. Probably would add some nice in it. Rebellion. Is that it? That's a tier three? You gotta be kidding me. That's crazy. Who would have thought? We well, supposedly we have to wait to hear from Gladwin Moon, so that quest chain isn't done with the Demiguy's Moons. Now, I wonder if we can get in here. There's a level two lock that we haven't. Hello, picked. Hamora. We'll just do a couple of these. I want to do some combat this episode. I want to get back into the the main story quest chain. I want to use one of those venomous uh, plants that we got. Rebellion. Okay. Is that in this house? It looks like it is, but it's not. Rebellion. All right, so let's make our way to this quest here. I'm gonna track uh, this one in Helm of Urtkot. We tended beast class, now we have to find Lodgok the Goblin. We have to speak with Sarona and the three broomsticks. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. 
I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. He's a friend. How can you trust a goblin? I'm glad to hear it. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Hmm. What have you heard about Ranrock and Rookwood? Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. Are you worried about Rookwood? You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. All right, here we go. Time to go see Ludgok. Looks like not all goblins are are against the wizards and witches, and vice versa. Some people are neutral. You too, I meet. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Can I help you with something? Such a cozy pub, the Hog's Head. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am, and I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Because I have a mask on. Perhaps I misjudged you. Serona trusts me. Serona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Sounds like a trap. I'm gonna say that. If I retrieve the relic, how do I know you'll tell me the truth about what Ranrock says? We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Hmm. 
All right. Well, there we go. Rebellion. So many level three rocks here. More. We'll just do one. I, I know we could. <laughs> I'm getting kind of addicted to lock picking here. I just like getting the loot. Oh, look at this place. Upgraded gloves. Downgraded gloves. Downgraded gloves. A lot of chests in here. Rebellion. It's like so many gloves in here. All right, so we're a hundred percent selling some junk before we leave. I suspect you are the one who has been interfering with a rather personal matter. The Demigai's statues and the moons contained therein were placed as they were for good reason. You should not meddle in the personal affairs of others. Who is that guy? I don't think Mr. Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those demiguys' moons. He's in Hogsmeade, apparently. Perhaps I shall pay him a visit. Come on in. Perhaps Healing we should. Of a speciality here. I want to finish. Let me. I want to see what that question is all about. Maybe we'll we'll do that instead. Can we actually wear those. Should have put those on before we started selling. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. To put those gloves on. I'm trying to get some pretty good gear here. What I know it's I, I know it's today? not max level gear, but it's a lot of uh, legendaries and, and epics. I hope to see you again. So what should we do? Farewell I don't know. I, I kind of want to do the. I want to. I want to see what's going on here with uh, the man behind the moons. I've always wondered what they're all about. But we'll do that instead. Supposedly, it's just down here. She stands her ground, that woman. Anyone care enough to remove my demigai statues? Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigai statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're terrorizing Gladwin Moon. They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So you did create them? I. Uh... Yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. <laughs> what the heck? This guy has a lot of... Uh... Vengeance in him. Hogwarts caretaker is an important job. He's too big for his boots. Say that. He is a bit much for a caretaker, but he means well, and he's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. Nuts. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. You're no better than Mr. Moon. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. 
Perhaps it's time you both moved on. <sighs> That's Fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. So that's all it, it was, was just a joke, a prank, because he used to get bullied by him. Well, I guess he got his payback. It's kind of a weird form of payback. I wonder why he's so scared of them. Alright, so I guess we'll go back and we'll, uh, we'll see what he has to say. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. Not too sure about the mask. Maybe it'll grow on me. I don't know if we'll use it for the whole playthrough, but we'll check it out for a little bit. It was someone you bullied in school. It was your friend from school. <laughs> Let's say that. It was an old schoolmate of yours, Piers Pemberton. Oh, I might have known! Pigtails Pierce. Pigtails Pierce. I don't think he likes that name. I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does. Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all. Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm going to go and pay a visit to my old friend. Is that it? Well, there we go, guys. The man behind the moons. Yeah, that was a cool little quest chain. So I guess we'll go back to uh, the room requirement. I thought it was going to be more sinister than that. But I guess that, that's not. Wow, we got more venomous tentacular. I guess we'll collect all of these. Did these fully grow yet? Yeah, they did. We're going to have so much inventory on plants. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you brewed. Speaking of potions, let's brew some. We got to get some more moonstone so we can make some more potion stations. Yeah, things are coming along quite well. There we go. A decent amount of Wigan Weld potions. I, we might need them for this next quest we're coming up to. It's going to be a tough one. Uh, maybe. Who knows? But I'm going to call this episode here. And next episode, we will move on to the main story question. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.